sandwiches. I run both of their sandwich shop locations uh, and I graduated from OCI in October of 2010. My grandfather and my father um, were really the big cooks of the family and uh, I was really inspired by like the way that they always used to cook for the whole family. Um, and not only that but I'm from the East Coast and there's a lot of foods out there that uh, we don't have out here and a big thing was I wanted to get into um, curing pastrami. So I started doing all that and then I would cook for people and I guess it's kind of like the, the bad way to get into cooking school but everybody's like, you should go to culinary school, you're really good at this. So it was kind of like a, uh, just a, a different move, a different um, we get uh, We get bread from different locations uh, we, rather than getting bread from just one location. So um, we found that our, our Kaisers and our Chibatas were, um, that we got really good stuff from uh, Fleur de Lis, which is in Hollywood. Um, and then our white bread and our Cubano bread comes from Portland French Bakery. So you're from the East Coast. How did you end up in Portland? Uh, snowboarding. Originally, uh, I moved to LA when I graduated high school. And then I was really big into snowboarding back there. I moved out to there to work on Mammoth Mountain. Things didn't work out as well as I wanted them to. So uh, I figured I would move up here. And uh, I always saw Mount Hood in all of our snowboard magazines. And you could snowboard almost all year here. So I thought it was going to be a good move. Just, it just seemed like such a better school and I liked how every single class was a lot more limited to you know making sure that everybody was hands-on rather than just filling up the class with a whole bunch of stuff. So I heard so many good things about uh, Chef Alden. To be honest with you, he's actually the, the inspiration of why I'm even here um, because him and I got really into like the whole curing meat stuff and um, getting more into that and he really kind of inspired me to go in the direction that I went. So I, I owe a lot to him. I've gone to different other schools. Uh, I went to an institute of audio research in New York, um, and that was for working in music studios. I'm not doing that. And I went to the ITT Tech, and I'm not doing that either. So this is the first time I'm actually getting to use the stuff that I went to school for, and um, it helps me every day. Like I mean, like with costing and yielding, and you know, scheduling, and uh, just just the whole way of marketing things and looking at it from a different perspective. Um, I think that was the most, uh, that was the best part about our restaurant management program there was that everything was completely targeted at restaurants rather than just being a broad spectrum of things. So especially with like the marketing, it wasn't just a marketing class, it was how to market a restaurant and stuff like that and costing out a restaurant and stuff. So I, th I think that that was the most beneficial part was that it was all completely and just solely targeted at, at, at the restaurants rather than just being a broad a lot of businesses around here that fuel with the food, so basically you're coming in here, you're getting your stuff, and you're going back to work. You feel like that's your biggest clientele? Oh yeah, I mean, it's it's funny, Monday through Friday, uh, it's all businesses, so it's all returning customers, you see the same people all week, and then on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, it's really cool, all of the hotel concierge really recommend us a lot, so it's all tourists, all Saturday and Sunday. My inspiration was to start my own deli out here. Uh, like an East Coast style deli, like Italian deli. And um, this company actually, Nikki USA, I, I used to be a personal trainer and I used to train the president of this company. So I got really into that network and it was really, really helpful for me because I knew people already. And I ended up meeting somebody that was really into my pastrami that worked for him and he knew the two owners of this company and thought that it would be a good move. So uh, I started uh, in November of 2010 with a six hour shift on Wednesday. The most popular sandwich is the pork belly cubano. It's been on TV quite a bit, so it's it's by default. Everybody sees it on TV, so it automatically just is like the one that everybody sought out for. I started in November and then about May, June of the following year in 2011, uh, they were thinking about opening up this place down here and um, I got approached by the owners that uh, I was a candidate to want to come down here and manage it and to be on my P's and Q's. So I uh, I did everything. I, I made sure that I was in the you know the limelight basically, and then I got told that I was going to come down here. I love it. I, it's 
the first job where I actually honestly can tell you that I enjoy going to it. Uh, I don't feel like it's work at all. It's, it's enjoyable. Even when it's stressful, it's enjoyable. It's, it's nice to have an opportunity to be able to figure out problems. And I think the, the, the best part about it is that I've actually gotten the trust out of the owners to make it so that I make my own decisions. Um, whereas like, these are basically my restaurants, you know, and I run them like they're my restaurants, you know, and, and that's the best part. It's, I have two restaurants, and, I'm, and, and we're going to be having three pretty soon here, so I'm going to have three restaurants that are like in my control, and it's it's an awesome feeling like, to know that within three years of working here, you know, like I'm in this position. I feel very fortunate. So. Hey, congratulations with all your success, Thank you. and uh, we wish you all the best.